All right, hey there guys. Today I wanted to go over creating parts um, in, an, in an element. Um, it can be useful for if you want the same element, like a, a wall is what I'll show you today, um, that's the same structurally, but maybe one of the finished materials has different parts to it. So I'll just go ahead and draw a wall here. <clears throat> it's just a generic wall, so let's go ahead and change it to like this brick on CMU so that we can really see kind of what's a little bit more what's going on here. Um, put that on. So Still probably be best to see what's going on. Um, so we've got this wall here, and it's got different layers to it. But right now, you can just select it as one object, um, which is nice usually because then you don't have to select a bunch of parts. But if you want to break it down so that you can say maybe have, and maybe in this case it's not very realistic, but Say you wanted to have part of this be like wood instead of all brick, um, or or maybe metal. You can you could have mostly brick here and then have like a little corner of metal or something. I don't know. Depending on what your design may be, uh, what you can do is you click on that wall and you go up here under the modify tab under the create tab and it, there's a uh, create parts. If you click that, then what it does here, you can kind of see that it's broken it down into its various parts. So you can see you got your CMU here, um, some sort of barrier, and then your airspace, and then your your brick. Um, so then if you click on that, now you can just select the just the brick by itself. When you do that, again under the modify tab, it now gives you these options related to parts. If you say divide parts, then it gives you the ability to divide this up into parts and you can divide it up into whatever parts you want. Um, all you have to do is just hit this edit sketch and then you can do whatever crazy shape you want. Um, I'll just go ahead and do a polygon um, just for the heck of it. Um, first thing you have to do, if you notice here, you can see the dashed blue lines. That indicates the plane that you would be drawing on. So right now, you'd just draw on this plane and it would just kind of cut up through the wall and that's not really what we're wanting to do. We're wanting to create a drawing on the face. So you have to select this set, which is set work plane. And what I like to do is I just say pick plane, say okay, click on the face of the wall and now it's changed those dashed blue lines so that it indicates that we're drawing on this plane now, which is the face. So um, just do a polygon. Just get crazy with it. Um, select check. That's created that part. Hit check again. And now you can select that part by itself. And you could, I mean, the, the point is now you can modify just that part by itself. Um, you could delete it, you could do whatever you want with it. For the sake of this demonstration, I'm just gonna change the material. And the way to do that is you come down here. There's no way to edit the type or anything like that. Um, but you just scroll down here and under the identity data, there's this material by original, which just means that based on the original that this part was created from, it's brick, and so if you want to change the material, you uncheck that, now you can change this, and let's change it to, I don't know, let's see. Change it to some aluminum finish. 
you've got that patch of aluminum there. It's kind of ugly, but <laughs> for the sake of demonstra demonstration, it works. Um, now, say you did this and you weren't happy with where the shape was or, or where the division was. You just simply click on it and say edit division, say edit sketch, and it brings you back in here and you can add to it or delete it or adjust it. Um, so if you go, let's go ahead and make a more reasonable shape here. Um, one thing you'll see is you can draw outside of the actual element, the actual component, and that way it'll just completely cut through and create a uh, totally separate part. So like for this um, rectangle, it's drawn outside, and that's not a problem for this tool because what that does is just make sure that the line here extends past and actually creates this as a totally separate part and you don't have some random little strip of brick here or something on the edge. So then you just hit the check mark, do that, and you'd have to go in again and change that. Okay, so now we've got our brick wall with an aluminum part on it. Now say, for whatever reason, maybe I wanted to say, oh, I, I actually don't want this wall to be in parts anymore. I actually want a wall over here or whatever, and I want this wall to be back how it was. Well, there's no way to, I mean, all you can do is, well, actually, real quick, I'll, I'll point this out since we're here. Um, you can actually, once you've created that part, now I could reselect this and say divide parts again, and I could have a subdivided part in here. So like if I wanted this rectangle with that polygon of um, brick in there or whatever, then I could just divide the parts again. I could do do it that way, or I could just edit the division and um, draw another rectangle in there, whatever you want to do. Um, but if I wanted to get rid of those, you notice that there's no way to undivide parts. Um, this exclude parts, that just excludes it from the model or, or whatever. It doesn't get rid of those parts to get back to the original wall that I had. So you'd say, oh, well, there's no way to do that. Well, if you just select the parts and delete them, it'll give you this warning. And if you just keep going and say delete parts and delete and delete, then once you get through all of the parts that you've created and um, delete all the final parts, then it just leaves you with the original element. So don't be afraid that you're going to delete your wall. You just have to go through it, go through the process, and delete all of the parts, and then it'll come back and give you your original wall. So that's that.